Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reedsy. So today we're going to be running through six unhealthy writing mindsets that are super, super common and talking about why these things are a detriment and why they may be something you wanna try and start working through. I've certainly dealt with a lot of these things. These are really, really common, but counterproductive writing mindsets that a lot of writers hold. Number one, thinking the first draft has to be perfect. Even though this is talked about a lot, it's still something that a lot of writers deal with. And unfortunately, it can be a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're so scared that the first draft isn't turning out perfectly that you just don't write at all. And so then you're never gonna end up with a first draft. And so of course the first draft's never gonna be perfect because you're not gonna end up writing it. I think the root of this is a lack of trust in your ability to edit. You know, if especially if you've never edited a book before, it can be easy to think if I don't get it perfect right now, it will never be perfect. Writing a perfect first draft of an Novel is just honestly impossible. It doesn't happen. And the beauty of a novel usually emerges throughout multiple rounds of revision, and that's okay, that's a good thing. The first draft is quite literally the worst version of the story that you will ever write, but the most important thing is just that it exists. I think it's also really important when writing a first draft to allow yourself the freedom to kind of just experiment and play around with stuff, and that might mean making it a little messy, but that gives you more to work with through revision. Perfectionism and a fear of it not being perfect is probably one of the most common unhealthy writing mindsets, but ironically, it really is just a self-fulfilling prophecy and learning to just kind of embrace the messiness of a first draft, trust and just really have faith in your future ability to edit the book and make it better is one of the most freeing things that you can do. Number two, viewing other writers as competition rather than as collaborators. It can be easy to feel jealous or competitive in really any field. Writing is certainly no exception to that. Other writers can succeed and so can you, right? It's not a competition. You can both succeed. Writing can feel solitary, especially if you feel very in competition with other writers, but it actually, I think writing is most joyous when it's a collaborative ability and you can collaborate with other writers, whether that's, you know, getting feedback on work, whether that's just having a support network, whether that's discussing craft and ideas, whatever it is, I think that being in collaboration with other writers is one of the best ways to both develop your craft and also to just make the writing process more enjoyable. It's not fun to do this whole thing alone, you know, especially once you get into the later stages, you're going to want feedback from other people. You're going to want to talk through your story with other people. You're going to want people that you can talk to as you're going through publication because it's so complex. Having a network of other writers you can collaborate with is so important. Feeling like other writers are your competition is holding you back from those really great connections. And also it's just kind of counterproductive in the end. It just kind of makes you feel miserable if you feel like you're in competition with someone and so then when they succeed you feel like that's why you're not succeeding that kind of just makes you feel miserable um and so i think it's best to just foster like actual genuine friendships with other writers or at the very least just feel neutral about them be like they're just doing their thing and i'm just doing my thing and both of us can be successful. Number three, thinking your writing process can't change. i think it's common to feel like you're looking for your perfect writing process and once you find it that's it, it's never gonna change. Every book you write is gonna be different and the circumstances of your life will continue to change. And so I think it's really healthy to take on a mindset that your writing process will always be adapting. Being able to adapt is a really important skill as a writer, being able to adapt to the needs of your book and the circumstances of your life and just your own best practices changing and developing over time. Every book you write will probably require changes in your writing process. And I think it's good to just be able to adapt rather than feeling like you have to stick to the exact same writing process every single time because no one is holding you to it. So you certainly don't have to hold yourself to that if it's no longer working for you. Number four is waiting for motivation. Motivation is a word that comes up a lot when we talk about writing. And I think that a really common but counterproductive mindset is to just sit around and wait for motivation. If you're feeling unmotivated, there's probably a reason for that. And you should probably figure out what that is and address it. If you don't have any motivation to write, it might be because you need to figure out how to create that motivation to write. Just sitting around and waiting for motivation will likely not lead to any kind of motivation, right? An object at rest will stay at rest. If you're just not writing, saying, oh, someday I'll feel motivated, then I'll write. That day will probably never come. So either figure out what motivates you and do that, or figure out why you feel unmotivated and address that problem. Number five, thinking there's one correct way to write a book. This is just simply untrue. There's no one correct way to write a book. There are infinite ways to write a book. It can be easy to get caught up, caught up feeling like you're on the quest for the perfect method. If you can follow that perfectly, it will lead to the perfect book. And if you don't follow it perfectly, then you will be unable to write. There's just no one correct way to write a book. 
And I think it can turn into a form of procrastination, you know? Oh, I can't write because I haven't found, I haven't figured out the perfect way to do it yet. Sometimes you have to just kind of start writing and be willing for it to be a mess and figure it out along the way. It can be easy to hold yourself back because you feel like you're waiting to figure out how to approach it perfectly. But that really just doesn't exist. And again, I think this can turn into kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy where you're trying to figure out the perfect method but in doing that, you never end up writing when really the most important thing is just doing what gets you to write. Um, and perfectionism within your own writing process is going to stall you from writing. So it kind of ends up doing the exact thing that you're trying to avoid. Finally, number six is focusing too much on your weaknesses rather than your strengths. Every writer has different areas that they excel in or that they need to work on. This is totally normal, but sometimes we can get so caught up on the things we feel we're not very good at that we completely forget about the stuff that we're actually good at. A lot of the time we can feel like, oh, the work just will not be good because I don't excel at whatever X, Y, Z thing and completely forget about the fact that you're fantastic at doing these other things. Not every book is going to be perfect in every single area. Different writers in different books shine for different reasons, right? If you think about your favorite books, there are probably different reasons why you loved all those different books. A book doesn't need to do every single thing perfectly and a writer doesn't need to be incredible at every single thing. Instead, it's just about showcasing your strengths in your work while still continuing to work on your weaknesses, but not letting that stop you from writing at all. So those are six really common but unhealthy writing mindsets that might be holding you back. I would like to know what unhealthy writing mindset you've been trying to work through and improve on in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, bye.